Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nukman Hakim bin Sharudin So, firstly I will briefly explain about proving techniques So, a proof is a convincing argument expressed in the language of mathematics that a statement is true So, there are several different methods that you can use with proofs and these different methods can cause difficulty for the user to choose the best method of proof. Generally, there is no algorithm of procedure or procedure for proving theorems. However, it does not mean that proof writing is purely an art, so that only those with exceptional talent and insight can possibly write proofs. So basically, all methods of proofs are rely on forward-backward method. Therefore, this method will be the first attempt on a problem. On the next page here, we have the general outline for forward-backward method. Firstly, we need to recognize the statement if A then B. After that, we'll repeat the backward method until the key question cannot be asked or answered. And next, we use the forward method until you have obtained the last statement acquired from the backward method. And then we write the proof by starting with A, then do statements derived by the backward method. Alright, so right now I will let Amirul, Fatin and Anissa to show us some examples of how to properly use the forward-backward method. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anissa binti Muhammad Zamri. My student ID is 2020815114. Okay, today we will explain uh, three examples from topic uh, the forward backward method from chapter 3 method of proving. Okay, so let's go. Okay, for question 1. Question 1 is proof using the forward backward, backward method. So, let n element with z. If n is even integer, then 3n plus 1 is all integer. So, in this video, I will explain what is A, hypotenuse, what is B, conclusion, backward process, forward process and condensed proof. Okay, for solution 1. Okay, first of all, we must state what is A and what is B, which is uh, hypotenuse and conclusion. So, A is n is n even integer. B is 3n plus 1 is an odd integer. After that, uh, backward process. Backward process, we must uh, take statement from statement B only. So, statement B is 3n plus 1 is an odd integer. So, B1, 3n plus 1 is equal to 2p plus 1 for some integer P. In B1, we must create a uh, one statement that is equal to 3n plus 1 which is odd integer. So, I create 2p plus 1 so that uh, when uh, we uh, put uh, one integer, we can get odd integer. Uh, an example, uh, 2, 2 multiply with 2 plus 1. So, we will get 5. 5 is odd integer. Uh, for, for forward process, for forward process, uh, we must uh, take statement from statement A. Statement A is n is n even integer. So, for A1, n is equal to 2r for some integer r. So, uh, we must create one statement that equal to n. n is even integer. So, I create 2r so that is equal to n which is even integer. An example, when uh, we put one integer uh, number 3 So 3 multiply with 2 We can get 6 6 is even integer Okay For A2 A2 3n plus 1 is equal to 2 multiply with 2r plus 1 Why 2r? Because in A1 N is equal to 2r So we substitute N is equal to 2r So in A3 We can get 6r plus 1 So in A4 We factorize again uh, we factorize 2 multiply with 3r plus 1 so that this uh, this statement is equal to 2p plus 1. So, a5, 2p plus 1 is equal to 2 multiply with 3r plus 1 where 
P is equal to 3R. So, statement A5 equivalent with B1 which is 3N plus 1 is equal to 2P plus 1. Okay, for condensed proof, given N is an even integer. Proof that 3N plus 1 is an odd integer. We know that N is equal to a right. So, we assume that uh, 3N plus 1 is equal to 2P plus 1. Therefore, 2P plus 1 is equal to 2 multiplied with 3R plus 1, where P is, 3, uh, P is equal to 3R. Hence, 3N plus 1 is on. So, this, hence 3N plus 1 is odd. So, this statement is proved. That's all from me. Thank you. So, I will move to the next question, which is question number 2. Okay, so the question is, if Q is an odd integer, then Q square plus 2 is odd integer. In this question, I will be using the method called forward-backward. Okay, before we start to answer this question, we need to split this question into two parts, which is the hypothesis and conclusion. So, the way to determine which one is the hypothesis and which one is the conclusion is firstly, we look at the word if. After the word if, then it is hypothesis. After the word then, it is the conclusion. So first is A, the hypothesis. So the hypothesis is Q is odd. Next. B, the conclusion. So the conclusion is Q square plus 2 is odd. So we will start from the backward process. We need to question ourselves how can we show that Q square plus 2 is odd integer? So we will get B1 by using the definition of odd integer. So it becomes Q square plus 2 equals to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. Next, we move to the forward process. So, as we see, in A, it is given q is odd. And then, in A1, we use the definition of odd integer and q equals to 2t plus 1 for some integer t. So next, in A2, we substitute Q from A1 into the equation Q square plus 2. So it become bracket square 2T plus 1 plus 2. We expand the 2T plus 1 become 4T square plus 4T plus 1 plus 2. Next, we factorize 2 bracket 2t square plus 2t plus 1 plus 1. In A4, we will get q square plus 2 equals to 2k plus 1, where k equals to 2t square plus 2t plus 1. So in condensed proof, given q is odd, so by definition, q equals to 2t plus 1 for some integer t. To show q square plus 2 equals to bracket square 2t plus 1 plus 2 equals to 2 bracket 2t square plus 2t plus 1 plus 1. Hence, q square plus 2 equals to 2k plus 1 for some integer k, where k equals to 2t square plus 2t plus 1. Don't forget to put the small box at the end of the proof to show that we reached the conclusion. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatina Shua Binti Ramli and my matrix number is 2020-458478. So, let me begin by um, giving the question for example 3, forward backward method. The question is given the right triangle PQR is isosceles, then the perimeter of the triangle PQR is set to plus 2 times 1 of the congruent sides. So, under the topic of forward-backward method, 
Sometimes the question asks for two types of proof, which is analysis of proof and condensed proof. But there are also times that the question only asks for analysis of proof. So, um, to begin by solving using analysis of proof, the first step is to find the hypothesis and conclusion. So, we can obtain hypothesis by looking at the statement before the word then. So, for this question, the hypothesis is right triangle PQR is isosceles. And then for conclusion, which is B, we can obtain by looking at the statement after the word then. So, for this question, the conclusion is the parameter of PQR equals to cert 2 plus 2 times QR. QR is one of the congruent sides. And then, I will show you the diagram of the triangle to make it easy to understand. So, after we find the hypothesis and conclusion, usually we start with backward process followed by forward process. But, for this kind of question, it is not necessary to use um, to do the backward process. So, we can immediately start with the forward process. So, for A1, PQ equals to QR. This is the definition of isosceles triangle, which is it has two sides with the same length, which is PQ and QR. And then for Q, and then for A2, um, we use the basic formula for parameter, which is parameter equals to PQ plus QR plus RP, which is all of the sides. And then A3, we use Pythagorean theorem, RP square, the hypotenuse, equals to PQ square plus QR square. And then we can move the power of 2, become 32 at A4. And then for A5, we can already solve the question, which is we substitute PQ with QR by using A1 and then we substitute RP with third PQ square plus QR square at A4. So parameter equals to QR plus QR plus third QR square plus QR square. Notice that the PQ uh, in the formula of A4, we can also substitute with QR to uh, make the equation only have QR. So we can solve and then we obtain 32 plus 2 times QR which is the conclusion. So we finally prove that um, E5 equivalent to P. So after we already done with the analysis of proof, we can do the condensed proof which is we explain our steps in sentences. So from hypothesis, PQ equals to QR. By Pythagorean theorem, RP square equals to PQ square plus QR square. Obtain RP equals to third PQ square plus QR square. And then by formula of parameter, PQ plus QR plus RP equals to QR plus QR plus third QR square plus QR square. And then we obtain parameter PQR equals to third 2 plus 2 times QR. So we already get um, the conclusion. That's all from me. Thank you. And finally, the conclusion for the forward backward method is it is the most fundamental method for creating a proof. So consider the statement if A then B. So your goal is to try to write out the proofs and construct a logical path from the things you are given which is A to the thing you are attempting to prove and that is B. And we will use the forward backward method as a first attempt or when B does not have a recognizable form. And over here on the next page, basically this is the abridgement of forward backward method. So I think that's all from us. Thank you for watching.